All right, it's like 7.30, what time is it? 7.40. 7.40, we're leaving the hotel. We're gonna get on a bus to Hollywood Studios and we're gonna try to rope drop Rise of Resistance instead of by the, the individual lightning lane because it's $25 per person today. It is spring break time, so that's expensive. So we're gonna rope drop it. But we already got a few other lightning lanes booked, so we'll show you that. So it is, what time now? Almost eight? No, it's our Monday, folks. We need yeah. one for stroller, scooter, wheelchair. The rest of the party continue down the middle here. So make sure if you are staying on property that you look for the signs that say early park entry because you get to go in half an hour before everybody else. Then once you're through the early entry, you should poof at your hotel. Move further to the right. Everyone stays left, but the lines get shorter the further you move to the right. Like, look at this. There's no one over at this check-in point. So we're going to go to this one right here. Yay! Thank you! And that is how you get through that part really quick, y'all. You just gotta keep moving to the right. We are now in the park. We're gonna go start lining up for Rise of Resistance. We'll keep you posted on how long we end up waiting. We got the big old at, at, at from Star Tours. And then you take a right and ooh, there's the line. We'll see what it's, uh, what the forecasted wait time is as we get into this queue here. We've officially started the timer. The app says 85, but we did just move a whole bunch and it looks like we're moving again. So I think it's a lie. They do a really good job of line management here at Disney. It's one of the things I do think that they do well and why I appreciate it so much. <laughs> All right, we did a bunch of walking. We're back here in this backstage area now. Almost 10 minutes. And it's only been 10 minutes. I love this poster, by the way, Star Tours. She swore she'd never sign another autograph. May your curse be with you. What do you think? I think it's poor poop. They sit up in the trees and their poop falls down on the rocks. That's poor poop, everyone. Line's still moving. It's probably been like 15 minutes now. Posted 85 minute wait time, but I think we're gonna we're gonna beat that definitely. Entering the pre show room with Ray and BB 8. Definitely not the 86 minutes as advertised, so you just gotta trust the system. Getting you to Vakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. 
Black leader, we're people one. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, resistance scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Now twerk out there! Come on, you know you want to join us. I'll help you with your reprogramming. Hey guys, I see you there. <laughs> uh, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I think, Luke, if we just smuggle into this TIE fighter, we can fly out this way and escape. <laughs> Go hack it. <laughs> Benefit you to memorize which color you have been assigned. Blue is in front, red is in back, silver in front, and orange in back. Because things are going very well for me and rather poorly for all of you, I can allow <laughs> you to wear your bags. However, they must be worn on one shoulder and one shoulder only. If you have a backpack, simply remove one strap. If you have a crossbody bag, you'll make sure the bag and the strap are hanging on the same side. If any of you have bags around your hips, they are embarrassing bags. You can them and carry them on the shoulder like a proper bag. Uh, do you know why the First Order doesn't use those bags? Because everyone who puts them on their hips assumes they're exempt from being bags. They say, this pouch on my hips. It's not a bag. It just carries things. It's an accessory. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, it's a satchel. Correct, which is another word for bag. <laughs> so you will remove it, carry it on your shoulder, like a real bag. They're gonna rescue us! Alright, R4, get us out of here, buddy. I know you can do it. Got it, Joy. Run, guys, run! Take those turbulence and stay out of trouble. Watch out! Stormtroopers! Hey, you're not authorized! Wait! Those are the prisoners! <laughs> we have a breach and they're touching lock three. There they go! Fire! Fire! Get out! Get out! This game lost us both! Take one step! Three! Thanks, buddy. You did good. 
Another pro tip, make sure you mobile order your food while you're waiting in line for your ride. So that way, as soon as you get off the ride, you can go pick up your food and not have to wait in another line. So the earliest, I, I tried to book a lightning lane for Slinky Dog right at 7 and I still got a return time of 6 p.m. That's how fast the lightning lanes go for Slinky Dog. So we're gonna pivot our plans. We're gonna take a few pictures and use the bathroom here in Hollywood Studios. Then we're probably gonna leave and just come back later this evening and do Slinky Dog and maybe Fantasmic. And um, park hop over to Epcot.